What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, guys. The boy Ryan LFC back again, guys. I need a top shelf video for you guys today. I have a special guest on the channel, Taxi. What's up? Welcome to the channel, brother. How are you doing? Thanks for having me, brother. You know, just there. I'm good, you know. You know I'm at the event training today. I just got to home, so, you know, just relax time right now for me. I really, really appreciate you taking the time to come share your journey with Ryan LFC family and stuff so how's the family doing and everything family is good in our family you know, in new york right now um, everybody's all right the wife the kids you know everybody's doing well you know miss them every day but you know the work i've go on you know you know and i choose a job when i choose and because of you know covid and everything that's going on right now they can't be here but you know that go you know for me facetime work and whatsapp call and <laughs> Yes. Yeah, kids in kids them is very important, you know, yeah. especially as a footballer, where sure. you know a good look distant away from them. So even the phone call is very important over the phone they see a face, you know. Yeah, especially you know that we have we have about, about six months now. We have a, we have recently had a newborn, you know, a boy the other day. So it's you know it's difficult you know for him, for him to be going like six months without you it's like you don't really know him much but every time i go up on the phone with him every day i try to go up on the phone with him and from him see me he's like him know me and you know that smile that kind of brings a different joy to your life you get me because the kids are motivated differently as a father you know different so even when you have bad days at training or you know just things not go right sometime when you reach back home and you see them man you know, them playing with each other, them run and come hug you up. It, it, it make you feel different as a man, you get me? And that that's something where I feel like you can never replace. You get what I say? So, you know, that's that's missing from my everyday life now, you get me? But as I said before, you know, we just we just have to deal with it. Totally agree as a father myself, you know, especially in this time. Not our generation. Our generation, you know, grew up without a father, and it's yeah. like nothing but no, no. you know, the youth them need them father. They need yeah, a father. More than ever. More than ever. Yeah, fucks. Fucks. Yeah, so. But guys, before we jump into the question, I want you guys to go and check out Cards Plug. Use the coupon code Ryan LFC to get ten percent off to get FIFA card. You can get your favorite Jamaican player, Leon Bailey, Taxi. And Jay Blake, it's very cheap, so you know you can get your Jamaican logo on your club that you support. So make sure you check out cardsplug.com. Use the coupon code Ryan LFC. Everything will be down <coughs> in the description. Come on. Yeah. My first question to you: Tell me a little bit about your childhood life growing up. <laughs> uh, there is no little bit. You know that still there is a whole lot, but um, yeah, the make it uh, as short and as direct as possible um i was born at jubilee hospital um right right like 10 minutes from you know my community that i grew up in um my community was central kingston like literally a walk across a bridge from south side where i went to holy family primary school and where i started to play for Raytown. FC, but rather than just growing up, my whole family, you know, mom, grandma, uncles, everybody was, you know, from that community. Everybody grew up in that community, so I, so I was raised in that same community. I went to primary school, and you know, then from there went to Donald Curry. But everything started from that, that from that community, right there. So, how was it financially growing up, going to school? Bro, you know, my mom and grandma did what they, you know, had to do. You know, you know, you had days without, days without lunch money. You know, days where you know we could afford dinner. You know, but growing up, I understood. I understood from a very very young that it's either one way or the other. Cause when you grow up and as like a nine year old or eight year old, 
you're seeing like violence and a lot of things happening. I feel like you know it brings you to a understanding faster than faster than a you to a grow up somewhere uptown. <clears throat> you know it brings it brought me to a faster understanding like yo this is life you know and you have two route you know either you gotta choose this route or you gotta choose that one here. And for me like more quickly kind of understand say so, yo here what. You know, anything where won't let me lose my life, you know, anything that won't let me follow a gun part, you know, that's that's the route where I'm going to try my best to stay on. Because growing up, I saw a lot of friends, you know, died. A lot of friends, and I mean, a lot, a lot of friends that are good friends died. You know, growing up, I lost my house to fire two times. You get me? So, different obstacles that, you know, different obstacles obstacles that I had to overcome but you know my grandma and my mom you know they were always you know there plus my three uncle them just pushing and making sure that you know I wasn't the one you know to to go down these routes you know because no matter what after certain hours my uncle always a pressure me yo leave the road you get what me I say yo yeah, you see, past your bedtime, look, you're the only you out here after this time. Go in. You get what I'm saying? And those things why people might think small, it, you know, it, it, you know, it does a lot for you because you have some kind of male figure, you know, around. While I had a lot of friends who were just, you know, they on the road. Their mother at work and they dip on the road, uh, up and down, this and that, do whatever they them feel like. And in some way, I wanted to do that. You get what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm just happy that my uncles were there to kind of just curve me. And plus, my uncle them used to play football. So, you know, everywhere, basically, I was just following them footsteps. You know, and, you know, for me, it just worked out. And, and people ask me, you know, a lot of times, like, would you change <clears throat> the way you grew up? You get me? And I, you know, and, and I said, no, you know, I would change things around the way I grew up, but. The way I grew up was like even in poverty or even in not having it every single day, there was a happiness like in the ghetto where I can't find anywhere else. You get me? You go anywhere else, you don't see that. There was a vibe, a different kind of living, you know, where being in the ghetto teach you a, it teaches you a lot of different things. You know, a teacher, you know, how to appreciate people, to love people at the same time. You know, what kind of people to stay away from. You know, what kind of crowd to pick and choose from. So when people look at get other people might just try to look at a hundred bad things, but there's a lot of good where you can pick out from. From it, you get me? And, you know, for me, you know, I just run with the good that I had. You get me? And at the same time, I, I kind of just curve my mind to like, to understand sometimes you're bigger than the environment that you're at. You get me? And to see yourself excel, you have to come out of that environment and meet new people or put, or put yourself around people where, you know, where are trying to go to places or people that already made it, you know, so they know how to get there. And I felt like, you know, I'm just kind of, you know, I just do some things the right way, you know, and pray will leave too. Because I'm always, I'm always I try to stay pray, prayed up no matter what, you know, pray will leave. I feel like, um, you know, God just bring me to a completely different level of just understanding, you know, just understanding where I need to be, understanding how to get there, you know, and understanding people in general. At what age did you start <laughs> to play football? Right on, I play football from about three, four. Every day, I used to play football. Three, four. When I started playing football seriously, though, it was when, or, or I can't tell you exactly when I decided to say, well, football, I'm going to play. I'm going to look back. But when I'm about nine years old, I decided already, tell myself, say, football, I'm going to play. I know I did not want to play ball. You get what I'm saying? And, and that was when I, you know, I was going to Holy Family and, 
as I said, my uncle and play ball every day. Uncle and everybody where I grew up, everybody knows my uncle and was two of the biggest baller. But my uncle and just never have that opportunity. You get me? Them never have, you know, that club there, that where them can go and really make it out. You get me? So watch my uncle and play every day. I'm there every single one of my uncle them training session after after I leave um school, do my homework or whatever I need to do. I'm just go watch my uncle them um, and then them take me aside and them always I do some kind of training with me. You know, and I never get tell people a lot about my uncle them yet, you know. But my uncle them always, you know, was involved. So around to answer your question though, around nine year old nine year old when you know, when I read when I think that was like fourth grade. Yeah, fourth grade, something like that. You know, in Holy Family. You know, I really decided to more play. I know all the family is a big school, winning a lot of trophy, win anything. Yeah, yeah more win um more win Primary League. Yeah, more win Primary League two match. I remember how much time more it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think more win two Primary League, um N V P leading goal scorer. I did them time I may play like um left left um wing or left left midfield or something like that may I play. So I win primarily or two time I think MVP um and I was the captain when moving. So yeah, so he's, he's a band leader leader from a young. So who was the coach at the time? Um Gen one and only general, um Sir Ikesman himself. Wow. Yeah. So you meet up Irish Kelly. You ever meet up Irish Kelly? Play Irish Kelly two time, beat them one time, draw one time with them. Okay, that's a primary school I attend. Yeah, so I'm in grade. Five, so be them I'm in a five grade. I'm gonna reach um sixth grade. I tie with them. So if it wasn't for football, as you say, at a young age you lock in. At the age of nine, it's football. It's football. That's all you think about football. And at that time, when you when you are nine year old. Football was a lot of people were saying this you have to get a skill, you have to get an education. That was my skill, yeah. That was your skill. Yeah, that was my skill. That was my um focus. Remember, I'm still up to go to school. <laughs> no matter you, believe in a, you believe in a your talent. Mm-hmm. And you yeah, have to get it, talent to be It's not fun. even it's not even the talent, you know, as much as my understanding say um I would have to work for really do this if I really want to do it. You get me? Because growing up, I wasn't the most talented player. You get me? My dad friend were wicked and, my, you know, family were wicked, wicked. So I wasn't as talented as them and skilled on the ball. But I had a um, different, like, intelligence to the game where I can't read the game where them can't read it. And me, can, me I see things where... They must see it when it happened. Me always I see it before. So me always I look on the game and up on a way different level different from them. You get me? So this now is what my kinda just always I used to my advantage. And this is one of the reasons why I get for start love defend. You know, cause even center back my love center back. Cause me I see everything before it happened and me I watch every play and me know what for do. So it wasn't that I was the most skilled player you know, especially at those times. But part of it is because them are the skilled player, them always feel like them not for work as hard. So my always are outwork them but done this side. Me I say, all right, I realize we're not gonna run for 70, 75 minutes, you know, but me I'm going to 95. You know? Yeah man, me I'm going to 95 minutes, man. I'm not going to stop running, I'm going to 97. You get me I say, I'm going to 100 minutes, non stop running. Because me I say, so the training on the do my always have the extra. My always I find a different level. You get me and from a young gum just realize say, yo, my kinda did bless for not have the same talent as a lot of them. You get what me I say? Because it because I'm so talented, it just made them feel like, yo, you know me not for the really work as hard to do this or do that. You get what me I say? And you know, that that was a lot of you know, a lot of them don't fall in terms of why them not really make it old in a football, my feel. 
So you play in the morning cup for your high school DQ? We we'll play a couple matches and stopped. I always I get DQ always I get too much beat now, but this I, I, I really decided that I didn't want to play. <laughs> but no, honestly, honestly, I love DQ. And I could have gone to KC or or any other school, you know, at the time. I could have gone any school or play a morning cup for any school. I had grades, um, and basically any school that take me for come play for them. You get what I say? Um, but I did love DQ. Real, real love DQ. And I did have my friend them already where I know them from seventh grade from. I just go DQ. And I decided that, like, yo, you know, just to play my income, nah, I'm not, I'm not going to lose. Because me, me and my friends are right now are the closest. And at the same, all of them are from DQ. <laughs> but, 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 Taxi, yeah. at that time still, my income were the big thing. Exactly, but at that time so when we, the money, and you, well, you don't get carried away and you want to leave your friend to go play in the money. Oh, no, brother, because at the time, at the time too, when I come back and I play money cup, um, a lot of people don't know. I was I was in Vancouver, you know. I was going to school in Vancouver. I went to school for a year in Vancouver and I was playing for Vancouver Whitecaps. There, I was in their residency program. Yeah, before you get to that, because I want to talk a little bit about that, because I do my research and I want yeah. to ask how that come about, but I want yeah. to, you know, pay attention a little bit from the earlier yeah. age, because people need to know this, they see the success and, you know, so, yeah, we will we'll get back to that, so I want you to pick up back from that, but yeah. talk, talk to me about um the Manning Cup, as you said, you, you play a little bit of Manning Cup and you didn't yeah. want to leave or go KC or one of the big yeah. Um, at the time, you know, KC coach, you know, you know, was telling me like, change school, you know, um, come in, we do everything to get you here, you know. And my talk, a couple other coach, you know, reach out to me and we talk to them. But at the time, you know, me and my friend them grow so close and I talk to my grandmother about it because I'm a grandmother, I'm really talk to every, everything about. And at the time, remember, me and the DQ overview the right there, sir. You get me, I say, and my already they kind of in in a overview program, and may I get integrate um may I get involved in other under twenty one them time in a in a overview, which is next to the um the Premier League. You get what me, I say, and I just made the decision, you know, me and my grandmother talk, and man, she said the decision of your and she said money cup is a big thing, um, but it's it's up to you where you want to. And I just made the decision, and say um. No, I no, I don't play no more income. Make it, make it stay, you know. After the couple matches, I'm gonna play for the EQ. I stop, I stop. I tell him, say, yo, I'm not, I'm not play. Me I just focus on. Uh... Still there, taxi. I'm kind of last taxi a little bit, guys. Forgive us, you know. So, he will be back. Not hearing him. <laughs> oh. Just leave it one time. So you go, guys. Sometimes you're using your phone recording and stuff, and you know, you get a call and then it just messed up the whole thing. But we will definitely have taxi back in and stuff, you know. Not hearing him. I think you should leave and come back. Yeah, so last taxi. I hopefully he can jump in back and stuff. I know you're going to jump in back, but guys, the topic, the interview is just getting sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. Kemal Lawrence have over 50 k for the reggae boy. So let's bring him back, Kemal Lawrence, and see if we can get it. Yeah, my, my daughter called me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured yeah, that. I figured that. Yeah, I call, but... <laughs> That's sometimes just, when I get a call, yeah, it, it, it plays around and mess up. Yeah. She just called up on my iPad to me. I'm telling her, Mama, I'm so called. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, understand, understand. No pressure, guys. No pressure. This is not, not TV, J, or nothing. This is just YouTube. And we just be yourself and we enjoy ourselves. So Box. Box. don't worry about it, guys. This is reality and 
these things happen in life. So, yeah. Right. Pick up back from where you are. But before you talk about, you were um, at the point, say, you leave DQ, you didn't want to play any more Manning Cup, but you still were going to school because DQ were very close to Arborview. Yeah. But before that, before that Arborview come about, talk to me a little bit about your home team, Rato. 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 Yeah, I'm a play for, I played for Rato for... 2003 to 2007, is that correct? Yeah, something like that. Or probably like 2004 to 2007. You know, yeah. um, yeah. I was, you know, because I coach Ike's man. Yeah. Same you know, coach from primary yeah, school. Same you have coach to give from him primary. You have to give him back. Yeah. It's the same, same coach. So at that time, that coach I do everything. You know, every single player, you know, love that coach. I love him coaching style. You know, how him treat we as um young like young him treat we like young adults at the time. He have so much respect for for we he never make it feel like um him, him bigger than we in a no way. Even though him, him even though him coach so much um player would turn big player. He used to coach Teddy Johnson, he used to coach Claude Davis, um the list go on, him coach no him him, him coach over like probably 20, 30, like, player will make it out and turn big top player. But player will represent Jamaica. Really, really good coach. So, at the time, we just decided to make a play and we had, we had kind of like the same team and move out of primary school. Yeah. We kind of had that same team and, you know, the guys were just sticking together. Uh, and, you know, my player right on, I never win nothing on right on. I think I'm um, the closest I ever come for winning a right on um, under 13. And then um, make it to semi final, and I think Medi ever beat me a semi final, and yeah. you know I decide to make a leave like after that and go. Um, actually, Central Kingston, you know, was 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 a team that was trying to get me to come play under fifteen and under seventeen for them. Right after I was about to leave right on, and you know decided no because meet with Ludlow Bernard. Um, um, from Arborview and Ludlow see some game and Ludlow say um, said to me like, come Arborview you know I'll take care of you make sure say you know you're all right you know and develop your your, your talent and your skills and you know I'll make you into a better player you know and as I, again I talk to grandma about it and grandma say yeah she feel like you know a time for move from out of the environment eh? You know, go somewhere where them can really nurture nurture what you have and, you know, make it into, you know, what you really want it to be. And, you know, that's how, that's how I really made a move there. Definitely. And you do great thing at Aberview Football Club. But you make it to the Jamaican national team under 17 at the time, under 20. What's the difference with the young player playing for Aberview and Portmore? They get more opportunity, or our view just more act professionally more than Tivoli. Yeah, and but boys, so. yeah, have a, but honestly, I feel like you have like a more um, professional attitude. Um, um, where the uh, where the people them on board kind of take and try to like show the players them like, oh, this is the way to go. You get me, and at the same time, um, more eyes is on like our oh, view and a put more because. The numbers of players that have left before you and gone overseas are through that club them come. So more eyes from overseas is on the club. You get what I'm saying? And then the coaches where the coaches that them try to get is always like a really, really good coach. They get what I mean? I say a coach where your ear name there and your ear name there is not you know, is you notice it's never just like a just a regular Coach him always I try to get somebody where like all right, we, we hear that name over you say, you know. That coach I used to coach yes, you know, so it, it's always somebody with some kind of history or some kind of background of even winning. Yeah. You know, the person I come from a winning background. You get what I say? And I feel like the the competition between you being at uh Tivoli under twenty. And I have you under 20. The competition much higher because the best out of best player them try them best to go above you. Yeah. At one point, I close to play for Aberview. 
And I was close to play for your hometown team, Raytown. Yeah. When I just leave Excelsior, I leave high school. And I think the left back where you play for St. George's and him and him slim man. But I didn't rem- I, I don't remember him name, man. Keke. 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 Yeah. Carrie. Yeah. yeah, Keke is the one who was bring me, Messi, Xavi, that are um from Rima, because I am from Rima, so we have a few players, KK, St. George's at the time, a few players were come from Raytown, where play yeah. for the Raytown and a 20 team, man. Look who most more going play for Raytown. And also, when I went to Harborview with the chain, this is what I know Harborview is. They just, you can't just turn up and chain, like, yeah. go Harborview and turn up and chain. Yeah. And when Lord Lord said to me, um, why you leave in Boystown? Why you want to play for Harborview? And I said, more opportunity here and I want to play amongst the best players and stuff and I say no just stay a boy stone and like Kareem Banton and the rookie brother them that the priestly brother them from Abbeville I was very close to them and I say no man how are you man because at one point I was uh when I was going to Excel and I play Manning Cup Abbeville mutual par yeah you know so and just the community different. Just the community different from yeah. the Rima. You know, the from the region, you know, it have just a bit more of a uptown feel, you know? <laughs> yeah, and the breeze yeah. is just nice. Yeah. and pre- Yeah, for real, for real. As I say, I just like the environment, it just make you feel, you know, a whole different. Like, yeah, there's somewhere different. You get what I mean, I say? The way, the way you see the coach, especially when you see the coach and when the staff, the man. Just the way them act. Yeah. You know, them just them just bring a level of professionalism, you know. And um, it, yeah. And if you're a scout school. for two taxi, if you are a scout and you come to Jamaica, you don't know nothing about Arnett and Arborview. And you just come to watch Tivoli and Arborview. You can just see the difference with just all the player them cry themselves on the field. Yeah. Different from the Tivoli player. You can yeah. see a discipline, but we're not going to put down Tivoli. It's just, no, it's just no, facts. it's not, it's not. You it's know, you like some people that just have it, just watching the thing and just have it the wrong way. So we just yeah, have to straight me. I know, I know, I know, I know. don't have nothing to put down because, you know, some of the best players that we ever play for the country to come out of Tivoli. Come from yeah. Tivoli. On it, yeah, boy, stone. So it's not put down, it's just facts. Uh, that did that happen. Just I, yeah, yeah. I, I just, that did that happen. And that was the thing that was in everybody's mind at the time. You know, our view are the best because of everything them do, the way them dress, you know, the way them carry themselves, you know. At one point in our view system, everybody had drive come a training. You see me? Everybody had drive come a training, drive come a match in them Premier League team and no other Premier League team and have everybody where I drive. Yeah. And if they not drive, the bus will pick you yeah. up and all Yeah, you yeah, know the bus will pick you up for come. I and remember train. taxi. I remember <laughs> you. I remember you very good in the because at some time you come pick up Virgo down a boy stone. Down a yeah. Yeah. Like, ah, Louisa, I be I put out there and I be. Yeah, it's a vibes man from long time. <laughs> and me not even in the dressing room. So me yeah. can imagine if me they in the dressing room when you come a boy stone and stuff. And Michael, Michael can be you just dash it all whole heap, you know. Michael can be usual dash away with taxi. He used to rock himself and think the guy. <laughs> 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 big, big, yeah, big ball. Yeah, big ball. Listen. Big, big ball. Listen, the taxi, I know a lot about the local Premier League because I start to watch it very young. You know, I start to watch it very young. You see, like 2009, when like you have Kevin Lee man, the Harbour View, and yo, listen, I know, I don't know, I, I don't know what happened to the Premier League. This is your story. I don't want to take over the thing, taxi. Yeah. But you know, we are reason. But do you think the Premier League lack quality? Because when I look at the Premier not League 2008, no, 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 not lack quality. I would say like name player. Because 2008, 2009, 2007 come up. When you look check at Tivoli Gear, they have but check six. It. But now I'm going to push it. Check it. What did um, Money did I run in the league. People happy. Players happy. The field them did look better than all them look now. So that yeah, improved the quality of play. The treat like, 
You got used to go to Pali Field. Pali Field look nice. Boy Stone too. Boy Stone night. Nice. Have a view with spanking. If you go down a um, Sporting uh, Central down there, so nice. nah, so different, brother. And Not you know, true. people are invest when people are investing in the league. Money did not put in at the league. The player them feel alright. Like sponsor, on you guys. Lot of sponsor. You get what me I say? That shift no everything shift. The feel them you can't go on no feel and train in Jamaica. None. A true. A true None. because uh, you're right. You know, taxi because when you say money is very important because when you look at Arnett Garden, they have um link some of them player playing for Tankwell. So they get Tankwell always give them a good good money different yeah, from playing football. Have <laughs> um Waterhouse was linked with Tankwell because you know they are the manager and they have the, the 95. So everybody when in that time when the Premier League were playing, they were having a good job. They in yeah. a good business also they get good money from working and then they come and play the football. So the quality, as you say, come back down to the same thing. You have to cheat the player them and you get result. That's brother, the biggest thing. Brother, when you're investing in your player, brother, like, you might want to do the best. No matter what, you might want to do the best. You know, you bring out the best in him no matter what. You get what I say? So, that's the thing we did happen. You get me? So, you get a better level of football in every way. Play them now for their, play them. You know, people still have issues, but less issues. You get me? As I say, feel quality of Jamaica right now. Have a lot to do with the league. See if yeah. Jamaica can just do what they're supposed to do for the field them and get get some field. One at the time, may I, may I, may I suggest, may I say, go get some artificial field. You get me, I say, get some artificial field. Play the game for an artificial field. If I say. It has got improve the quality. Then the man them can really, really show who them is. When have the man them on some dirt bowl act like. You know, the man them can't show it because every pass, the man them make the ball, them are bumps everywhere. I'm still got Jamaica to train. Anytime they see me have RCs I Jamaica train. I'm going to train. I'm going to train it all about you. The same. Train it all. You're not going to know me out there because I mean, all of you guys are train with them. Yeah. And, I, and I saw my train. Every single time I do my training, I go to the gym and I get ready for my new season. Or you think I stay afar? No, I stay afar, but I'm not. Every time I get a break of Jamaica, man. Yeah. Me, when I want to play them probably spend the most time at Jamaica. Cause me get break boom. Yeah. As as I break, reach me, me reach home. Everybody know that about me. Me nah, me nah itch. Me gone home, me gone do my training at home. Spend my time with my family, me and my family there at Jamaica. Enjoy my time. That's that's how I do it. Okay. Let's pick up back from your career. You win everything. You win under 20. You play under 20 for our view. You play yeah, under 20. under 20. We win under 15 with our view. Yeah, so win under 17, under 20. We win under play. 21. And yeah. I'm winning Premier League. Yeah. You win Premier League 2009, 2010. 2000, oh, no, no, something like that. 2009, 2010. How much Premier League win you win? One more. No. One. one more. In one Premier League. One. So you win Premier League 2009, 2010. I think I 2009. I think I oh, when when what you in Premier League after that? The, I think when I left school 2013, uh, oh, 12, 2012. To, oh, 12 or 13 win Premier League. Oh, 12. Uh, you sure? Oh, 12, yeah, positive. The last uh, title okay. them win. I don't want them win. Okay. With Coach Vin Blaine as a coach. Yeah, sharp Vin Blaine. Yeah, Brown Vin Vin Blaine when I were normally coach a woman team. Oh. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Thanks for that piece of information. Eh? But you saying pick up back from where you say go to Vancouver, White Cap, you go to school. Oh, that come about. Um, you know, he's an agent from um agent from England. Um I can't remember, I can never remember this guy. First name, um, someone did a Alison name because him, my uncle, him of the same um, last name. But um, apparently, him, um, did, him did need a left back because him and Vancouver did in a constant talking. Um, you know, Keaty Simpson, yeah, yeah. So apparently, Keaty Simpson did there uh, Vancouver already with uh, with 
with Denver Argyll. Yeah. Two of them did over there and him actually did bring them. And like um the team did need a young left back and I think Keith mentioned my name to him. And then me, Ron Rye, and Jamie Hyde was the three away end up go. And we live in Vancouver for like one year over there and we play everything. And what actually made us return was Vancouver and Harbour because me and Jamie had a run where Roy was discussing the you know them that this Vancouver discussed to keep with you know to keep with but them and Harbour view did could have come together the the fee you know could have stayed on terms for the fee so that's how we end up you know come back because at the time why Vancouver had to sign us it was because they was bringing us out the country we were supposed to go to Spain. To play a tournament with Vancouver Whitecaps and in order for them you know to bring us to play the tournament we had to be their players you know and then um, they, they couldn't come together with, with with you know with a confirmed number so you know we we end up just you know come back so in in June 2014 you went to um, United States and child for two weeks in yeah. the M- MLS club, DC United. A two week or a week or one week, mother. One week. Because we did, week. yeah, one week. And we did, um, we just come off a tour with um, Reggae Boys. And we go to Europe tour, they will play Switzerland and Serbia. Um, Serbia and Egypt. France and Egypt, yeah. We just come off of that tour there. So we come off of that tour there, we have a little um, hamstring injury. Not injury, I have a hamstring, like, I have a little sprain. You get what I say, but I did a recover. Not hamstring, grind. It was grind. I have a grind sprain. Because I hit me, I come off in a France game, because I never finished the France game because of it. But anyway, um, reach Jamaica the morning that was me agent at the time. Call me, say, come on. You know, DC want you to come. Trials. You get me? And me I say, the money after all of them game them play, we just play against all of them, all of, all of them top international team. We just play against them team. Why am I supposed to go for that trials? I say them can watch them game. Then. Them can decide from this if they want me or not. The money said to me, say, oh, them just want to see if see if you know you and the man them jail, you know if they're cool. Blah blah blah. Not really for training. I said, you know, my grind. I'm a grind. Never ever recover to like a next full week or two week before my grind really recover. So that one I talk and I must say, oh, go man, go man, talk man. Cause him call me. I must say, must go talk man, man, and see what go on. I must say, all right, it now nah, it won't kill for me. You know, real. Even though I'm really never interested, especially because I'm a grind, but I talk. End up talk to the coach and I say, you know, I really just want to see what I do amongst the team and you know. So I reach the first three day them. The only thing I do like a treatment, watch team training, go back to my hotel. And then like the fourth day, I did feel good, so I'm going to some drill do some work. The fifth day, I do a full training. And the sixth day I do a full training. Come to feel really good. So I do a couple of full training and like. I'm going to say, all right, yeah. You know, I'm going to say, all right, I'm come spend some time with them on the last couple of days, I'm going to feel good. I'm going give them a couple of full training. And I say, yeah, I'm supposed to leave a good impression on them, you know. I say, them see me in other, in other big games, them and them see me now for themselves. I say, feel me and the coach have a good, good talk. I'm going to say, yeah, man, I feel like I leave a good impression on them. But instead of coming to Jamaica, I end up going to Miami, I think. go look for uh, my brother, mother. I end up going to look for her and my daddy. And I wait for her some news, you know. I don't hear nothing. So I end up going to Jamaica the following week and just start playing Premier League. And the money never really, the money say, oh, them real, them are saying, oh, blah, blah, blah. So I did anger because. I know when I'm up, I never want to go because I know this thing for happen. Like, you know, when, them are, when, when these teams are buying, like, uh, a player from any other country, 
them just buy a player. They may try to bring over the player and trials or anything. But, yeah, but so when you're a Jamaican, the mentality yeah. already different towards you. First thing they must say, oh, I'm going to pay him a lot of money, you know. And then, you know, the next thing, I'm going to see what you have. You always have to try to prove yourself to these people when you're a Jamaican. You know, but as soon as you hold a different passport, they and them could have never seen a player yet. From the mere say a Brazil you come from. Oh, from the mere say a Mexico you come from. From the mere say a South America you come from. Oh, they might get this whole heap of money and you can't do shit. They never see a player yet. But that the people and people mindset, you know, them always a look down upon we Jamaican, somewhere or the other. You get what I say? So it really, really did piss me off. But, you know, it it up more already or whatever the case may be. It's stronger and gig yeah. gave up motivation yeah. for the work back so over here. Two weeks after now. Two weeks after that. That one he come back to me and I say, yo, Red Bull call and send them away for the trial. And say, and I need it for go, blah, blah. I said, that man, I'm not going away. I said, I'm not going, brother. I tell you that straight up, I'm not going. I say any trials right now, I'm not do no trials. Me go and play some Premier League, you know, and get myself ready for Jamaica game them or come up on any team with see me. I want to get me from there, get me from there. I'm not go up on the trial. See him some tell him, say, big man thing, I'm not go. I said, I just play against Serbia. I play all of them games, start and finish. Yeah. And suppose, you know what happened when you play against these team? No. Continue. No, what do you mean? What I'm lose against? Yeah, no. I was, I was, um, I was going to say something about. I was talking. I was going to talk about the the 2015 Copa, but oh, oh. when we get there, we we, we talk about. That. Yeah. So so, the result them never go our oh, way, but Jamaica play against like be a top ten team. Why do good? Good. It yeah. really good. Right after the World Cup too. Right after the yeah. World Cup 2014. Yeah. No, it was right before the World Cup. Yeah, the preparation to go into yeah, the 2014. Yeah, it was the preparation. Right? I remember all of these teams are playing us because they are prepare for play. I think they have a Caribbean team or they are going to play in them group. So they are going to play with because of this reason. You get yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So anyway, he call me and say, um, Red Bull. I say, yo, gee, nobody even start that conversation. Because you know what I'm going to go. Anyway, my grandmother sit down and she overhear everything, you know, and she not say nothing. As soon as I come off my phone, she give me a look. And she say, you know where I go? I'm not no talking. Where you go? I'm going to show them something they never see yet. Give them a different energy. Show them what, what. What real Jamaica player look like. Just go there and does your vibe, everything go there and bring it. Brother, I'm gonna go. And I swear, I'm gonna run them in the ground. I'm gonna stop running. Brother, I don't stop. If I tell him to stop running, I'm a liar. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna run them in the ground. I'm run, run. Brother, and the, the child was too weak. For the full two weeks, I'm stay. And the day for me leave now, I pack my bag and everything and I leave for go Jamaica now because I remember my flight set and everything. Man. So normally all them things I got, think a coach that contact that man, that man that contact you. You know, your agent that contact you and tell you exactly what I'm so Anyway, I pack my bag to leave. I go down, go down um, in the lobby for, for say later to the coach and the staff because the coach and the staff are leave too. Everybody, them supposed to go to New York. Me supposed to go to Jamaica. When I go downstairs and the coach say, Oh, come on, what's up? You good? And I'm like, Yeah, I'm leaving. You know, I'm, I'm, I was just telling you guys, you know, you know, thanks for the opportunity. You know, really appreciate being here. You know, and I hope to see you guys soon. He's like, Hope to see you soon? What do you mean? He's like, You're, you're um, your agent in the call you? Yep. I'm like, No, nah, call me for it. He's like, Yo, you're coming to New York with us. Make sure you got. <laughs> make sure make sure you got something to put on you know that can shield you from all this cold because it's freezing over there I'm like what he's like yeah bro I'm, you know I'm taking you back with us I'm like 
He's like, yo, I really like you. Think you're smart. Think you know how to do your thing. And you know, let's let's let's. I want to work with you, brother. I'm here tell you, I remember a Florida where I do pre them them are the preseason at the time. So I be a t-shirt and I'm like, bag and short pants. You know? <laughs> Me no pa no go go back and do ya, brother. And it just it end up it work out. You get me right away. Them signed me. Um, we go New York. We did them. We bench the first game, and um, the left back injury in the game. In the first game, the left back injury him ankle or something like that, and did out for three weeks. And from we play the first game, brother, we no bench the next game. We no from we no go back on the bench. After ten game, we do a. After 10 or 11 games, they were completely different contract. Wow. Completely different contract for three years. Wow. Yeah. That, 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 that people them can't tell you the rest of the story about my Red Bull life from this. Huh? Yeah. It makes some great impact in the MLS, man. Trust me. But you remember this date, right? March 22nd. 2015. You remember that date? March 22nd, 2015. 2015, 2015, 2015. Why that sound like I went to DC place? Eh? Make a debut, bro. A debut against these. Now, DC, I remember my debut against them. Over the rival, because you guys are rival. Yeah, man. Hey, you I guys are that. rival, and you guys <laughs> win 2 nil. <laughs> Skin over there, say Jesus Christ, brother. Oh, brother, brother, we tackle all the grass. Come this side, say not me, say. not one person may I let by everything. We move, we tackle it. That is, <laughs> and laugh everything. We say, if them coach come up on the field, we tackle it. Yeah, and after when my pass, after the game finished, the coach come to me and say, You're the biggest mistake I've ever made. Biggest, really, the Man, same but, coach. Same man's come shit, man. Every year, when me and him meet, like you man, have something up your sleeve, you you are show him say, look where miss him. Every year when me and him meet, him come to him man, I say, yo, him no, no, him no, no, way him do. But if him could have do it over again, like, too late. <laughs> yeah, but too late. Yeah, too late, brother. I'ma make sure, every time I play them, brother. I'ma make sure I say, I'ma on a different edge. And I think, and I think from me I play them, they will only ever beat me once, if that much. I'm gonna play them over ten times. The money, baby. The money, baby. You put in a strong performance, bro. Brother, after me, I read. Me, I read it, you know, bro. Brother, after that game, then like. The amount of interview I'm do after that game is like, yo, different, brother. Yeah. That changed, that changed everything. Everything, brother. But I hear that, brother, I hear that it just, it is just fun, brother. For me, it's like, brother, you know, when you know me, I play and I enjoy football. See, spiritually, when my life feel like, yo, God, I lead me, and Everything good and me and God in a connection with each other. I'm gonna play a different brother. You know, it, it brings out a different brother. Cause the first thing for me, you know, brother, anytime I pray and say before games and just normally, brother, I've like anybody can tell you it's like always oh, God first, you know, and then anything after that, like family after that, you know, team after that. But it's always God first, brother. Isn't it? And and that for me different, brother. You know, God made I mean to everything on me I do then it just feel hopeless. Yeah. So you remember this date? Twenty ninth April twenty seventeen. You score. Some like gold cup there. No nah, man, that's not gold cup, man. Not gold cup. Man. And I mean I know di I mean, I, I mean, I remember this thing, you know? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but I want to ask you still because you get signed for Pepsi yeah. with um, Lionel Messi and um, also at the time you have um, the defender from Real Madrid. 
Ramos. Who that come about? Ramos. Um, to be honest, brother, um, remember that year that the year was a World Cup year. You get what me I say, and um, I never signed yet for Red Bull, but the year was a World Cup year. I remember Coca Cola basically had a face. A Pepsi. A Pepsi. No, Coca Cola was the face of World Cup that year. Then. Not, not, uh, not Pepsi. Coca Cola was like the thing. You know, the whole, the whole. The whole World Cup was like Coca Cola was doing everything for the them. main sponsor. Yeah, the main sponsor that year. So I, that year, I think Pepsi was just doing one of them things for like, you know, draw attention to themselves and them brand. You know, sure said them have big players and big players too. Yeah. Yeah. So I, that's how that's how the whole Pepsi thing come in, and then they look. To the whole Caribbean and them say, you oh, know, which player really I do good right now, you know? Which young player, because they wanted a young young face, a young player, and I'm like, which player really I do this right now? Which player really I come up right now and, you know, who can I use? You know, and that's how they got in contact with um, Clyde Jerry Dean and Abbeville about me, you know, and, you know, I went to meet with them and sat down you know, we had um, a conversation, you know, we had we had a meeting and, you know, the meeting well went well. You know, they like how I presented myself, how I spoke to them and, you know, everything just went went right. My mistake, guys, I made a mistake. It was Sergio Aguero and Lionel Messi. Yeah. And Sergio. Taxi. So yeah. how your nickname come about, Taxi? Same primary school coach. Him give me that nickname. I never ask him why ever. He just would come in one day and him just start calling me taxi. I never ever ask him why. I never ask him why. But wow. X man give me that name there and it just from him say it the first time it stick. I mean, are you me? Anybody know me? Me hate nickname. Me hate nickname with a me hate nickname. I call me no blacks and them. So I call me no nickname. Call me by my name. Yeah, man, growing up, me hate nickname. Okay, I call, if you, call, if you, you sit down and say, Wolby, and I try to call me by your name, man. Me not even look for you. Me not answer. Me hate nickname, man. Me call me by my right name. Call me by the name of my mother and my father name. Me. You know, me like to be called by my name. Call me not call people out of them name. Yeah. yeah. Call me by my name. But me say if I'm from him giving any of that, it just ring. I'ma love it too. I used to say, "Oh, you're fast like the taxi them from Tall." You know, I mean, it just used to. Ring. <laughs> just, yeah, because uh, when yeah. when I hear that, I always it, it's just always come to me. You know, like you know, cry passenger. Yeah. You know, especially the the um the commentator them know yeah. you in in the MLS. They yeah. always say, "Listen, this man nickname is Taxi. He don't cry passenger." Yeah, is that so? It's always you know something like that. People are put to it. And from get the nickname, I realize it's just unique, you know. So I say, you know, you know, make that one your stick. Yeah, but let us talk about the Jamaican national team. You have over fifty cap. He has done it for the reggae boys. You do it. What do you mean, man? Tell me this old. <laughs> Yeah. Over, over thirty. I mean, I I mean, I'm a thirty. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. It's still twenty eight. It's very young. You start at a young age, taxi. That's the thing. You yeah. start at a young age, and to get a senior call up, how you feel? Back them time day. But I, it, it just make you feel like you know, your hard work really you know pay off. You get what me I say. Um, Sometimes this are the most um first frustrating part for like any human being, you know, fear constantly at work and at work and at work and at work. And you feel like, you know, nobody now see the work where you are there. And you know, if you get that call up there, you just feel like, yo, finally, you know, somebody see, you know, somebody see me, me really at my, you know, me, me do the work. You know, so I just did really feel proud in that moment, but also just thankful. Like, thankful for life, thankful for my grandmother, thankful for my mom, thankful, you know, for God, 
at that point, thankful for my teammate them, you know, cause them push me and it get me to that point. But also me just say, yeah, what well, I'm gonna look back, you know. God go God go with any left back where I come from. <laughs> I look back. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bro, and up till now you still hold it, you know. Different from at the time, the left back we were going to give you a lot of problem. Um he usually play for Stroke City and he usually play for Watos. Them are Philip. Them are, yeah, them are, them are Philip. That was play. the man at the time. I never me that be the problem for him because uh, him was the man. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. The, the leader, the older guy, you know, him, it was really his position. It was my position. It was my, me trying to get in, you know, for, you know, for yeah. really him problem. And you, you hold it down, you know, some people would say Taxi is one of the best left back in Kankakov, you know. A lot of people, look at, a lot of people say that. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. But, he has, know, he has put in the work in, in the Caribbean and in Kankakov to recognize, and this is why I want more, um, especially the United States commentator. They don't have no respect for the reggae boys, you know. When you look at our history and you look at our stats, look at the last four years. We have two runners up in the Kanka Cup, Naco, Mexico, Naco, USA, you know. They're trying to make it. I think 2015, or 2015 they write to you guys off and they want to set up a United States, Mexico final uh, and you guys just... Always are upset. But this is this is this is it's okay for people to write it off, you know. You know. Yeah. It's you know, sometimes I don't get mad because them right write us off, you know. It just motivates me, say, no, me gonna show you say, me really can beat a team. And your team not as good as you think it might be. My team better. But you have things where stop us from reach with full potential, which you guys we we'll never have them problem yet. The issues that we face as a team, as a Jamaican team, US and Mexico never face them there yet. Never. We have to switch and we not face none of them issues there. And we don't face them issues there. We'll probably six in every time we see one of them. True. Bro, Jamaica is a force, bro. Our team is a force, bro. Our team is so good and can be so much better. What about 2015 Gold Cup that you guys just so wear black? And a lot of people say you guys just want to beat the United States, but you went to the final against Mexico and you didn't put out your best. Many people said that, but I think you guys did it in the best. And when you just come up against a very good Mexico team at the time in the peak, and you know, it's very difficult to play against Mexico. For me, people, a lot of people were saying, you know, most of you guys was in the MLS. You guys have something want to beat the United States. But part of it, you know, I would say, you know, somewhat, you know, they, you know, a lot of it can be right, because when when you play against players and you hear, or you know, you you listen to them talk about them and all oh, them will. Oh, them value them up here. So I'll be like, yo, but well, he's not all that. Last week, I play against him. You get me? And the way, the way all US commentators talk about them team and yeah. this, that brother, you that think he are go up against Brazil. <laughs> you, you know, because of, of Fox, the way them talk. But, but in, a, in a way, it's so good for the US players them because them know them have what? Them know them have people who have them back. You get me? Them have bucketive. Them have people who care, who are dead, who are passionate about the country, but what them do. You get me? But for we, it's like, yo, yeah, well, I call it so good. I'm going show you how say, we can be it, you know. You get me? And you, you said it, you know, a lot of people say you have a lot of us that played in MLS. Yeah, you have a lot of us who play in MLS, and it make us. It make us even more angry, you know. I even want it more to beat them, so we can show our worth in the league. You get me and say with Mexico, it wasn't as much as that rivalry. You get what me and say with yeah. US is like a fire burning. Everybody did the rivalry. You know we need to win, 
with Mexico, it was just like, yo, a finals. You see me? We need this. We need to win the finals. Yeah. You get me? But you know when 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 it's a rivalry, it's different. A rivalry is always like the biggest finals you ever play. You don't need nothing for make a rivalry special. Yeah. That motivated that fire up. <laughs> From your ear, the two teams them are go together. You're ready from the day when them just said the two teams them are go together. Yeah. You get me? So you don't really need no extra motivation for that at all. It's not like you need motivation for your finals either, but it was just different. And you know, feel like the Mexican team just outplay with that daily. You know, simple yeah. as that. You know, you know, we feel like we had chances where we could have, you know, score and lead the game, but. You know, a, we know football at the end of the day is a game of opportunities, and if you don't take your and a man take fame, what it lead to? Yeah. You get me? And we, we make a 2015. If you look on the goals with them score and the mistake we made, like we make some schoolboy error. Yes. Yeah. Then we, we we made some schoolboy errors that cost us that game. Yeah. You know, but it's just the same as we win as a team. We lost as a team, man. Yeah. Nobody never point them finger, and nobody never, you know, too angry. You know, all the players feel a little bit angry, but nobody never angry at the next man. We just angry so we lost when we could have bring finally for the first time in history bring this cup home to Jamaica. Definitely. And I don't in, before that Jamaica ever go a Gold Cup finals. No, semi final. Yeah. So. We have we you know we, as a team we done something new you get me I say something so we were just looking at it like yo the next step you know the next step is winning not really going to the finals but winning it. In that same year, you guys play in the Copa America. That was a very good experience for the Jamaican team. Come up against some of the best team in the world. I was play mad. like Lionel Messi and all mad. these things. What's the upper, oh, 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 you feel about that tournament? Um, like, that Yes. I think look hold on. I am a Liverpool supporter. I want to ask you this. Um I want just let, let's be honest. Um at the time we're coming out, report has been coming out of England, especially in Liverpool. At the time, Liverpool were want a left back. And most people said in England say Liverpool link it. Is that true or the only yeah. line? I hear about that. I don't hear about that. But it the only team um we did we did link with two teams where we would have tried to get something done. It was um um Leicester, the year them win, the year that we win. And um what's the team name where we're black and white again? Um Black and White. Yeah. Newcastle. Those are the only two teams we link with in England where we actually see paperwork and you know, something we're trying to get done. I wasn't any other thing here, you're probably just like, you know. okay, yeah, yeah. I was buzzing at the time, I was buzzing at the time because at the time, you're in your peak, you know, mm -hmm. you were playing excellent, you know, tournament after tournament, they put in some very good performance, and the door were hoping in 2015 2014. I think this is when Cameron are in person, yeah, Bert on the scene, but they put on some very good performance, especially in that Copa America. Down in, I think in in Chile or Uruguay, or yeah. Argentina, one of them. Yeah. And yeah. you know that tournament got me mad. Like I was so angry. Like during the tournament and after, I was so angry. Um, because I I felt a sense of we we as you know as a country as a team you know I felt a sense of okay, you know we are doing good. Bro, we lost each game 1 0. Mm. All of these games, you know, we lost them 1 0. All of these games, we had two or three opportunities to score. Especially Argentina one. Bro, all of these games, we had two or three opportunities to score. But just inside the team, I felt like it, it was just, yo, know, we did good against. You know, a top five team, you know, a top seven team. We did good against these teams. You know, these teams are top. It wasn't a case where we want to win. We want to beat them. Show them so we can beat them. You get what I'm saying? 
And yeah. then we went back to Chile. Like after that, and we beat up Chile. Chile you know, yeah. You get what I'm saying? I say like, what if a mentality is always like this? And would they bring anybody come, especially bring them to Jamaica? Yeah. I see yeah. You What's see it? the Chile team uh, at the time, just win back to back Copa America. That is, that is, that is strong Chile team, strong. And Chile team with everybody on it. Brother, you know what? Brother, you know where I run down Sanchez and kick him down? <laughs> brother, when I tell you, brother, me, I play the game, but you know as a player, you watch the game, brother. Brother, I bought four man I tackle on my Sanchez, you know, because the man beside him, nah, get away. You know? <laughs> yeah. Brother, brother, what? When they look back, bro, it's just like, you know, you have some memories where, you know, money can't buy certain things, brother, you get me, and then. You never dedicate yourself and put yourself in a position, you know, and really sit down and pray and ask God for deliver the things. Yeah. You would you would actually feel feel it, you know, you would actually can live it out, you know, you would actually be able to tell your kids about it. And when I sit down, especially you know, this year, 2021, and I look and I say, shit, 2022 next year, you know. You know what that means? Man's a girl, come in and not okay, I stop with you. You know how you start that. You want to look vibes to yourself and more time, you know, you, you call you, you call a Flemings or you get me a call a Leon or a Bowser. Nice. You get me a call a Leon or a Bowser and you and him all day there, you know, you say, dog, next year, World Cup, you know, we can't miss it, you know. <laughs> you see me, and you start to have these conversations with your teammates and when I say, yeah, man, if you look for our squad right now, our squad tough. You know, and you know, so the, the band did yeah. You there? Yeah, man, I'm there, man. Yo, man, you hear me? Yeah, man, I hear you, man. Continue. Oh, no, 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 Monday called taxi very good interview so far guys I super super enjoy it man so let's bring back taxi in yeah my phone I did and that that was just now I just realized it again. yeah yeah man so my phone just I did and that that was just now yeah 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 but... yeah so me ask you brother when you go up on the phone and you have the man them still on attack and you did it and you have a vibe on you know, if a man has say, yo, look for our team, brother, our team, we wicked, you know, our team, we come together, you know, you know, fully come together, you know, but it, it's tough. You know, you're there, you're there, you're there, and you say, yo, we're going to do it, you know. You know, we're going to take 98 out of people in brain and give them 2022 yeah. to talk you know. You see me, not say, not say nothing. 98 was the greatest thing for you, but one and give the people them something new to talk yeah, about. Remember, new. you know, we have we don't have the inspiration from 98, you know. We do, you know, no people like we would talk to Bibi them. Especially with their Jamaica, we see Bibi them always are reason with Bibi them. You get what me and say? We yeah. always are reason with stupid them. You see me, Pepe, the whole of them man there are, are people who know are people where as young you would them give Welcome. them show respect, them show a whole heap of love. You get me, and them sure we are we. We have the coach already. We're there, we do every day. And I say, yeah, I saw it did feel in a taxi. No worry, I said. So, no, every day we sit down and we're like, yo, we want it, we want it. But, you know, yeah, the, the little distraction them are pulled away from it. You get what me, I said, the little distraction them just are pulled away from it. And we say, yo, we have to get them distraction out of the way if we achieve the goal. You get what I say? Yeah. I forget them distraction you're out of way to achieve a goal. We can't get to that goal with them distraction. The distraction them too much. You get what I say? And, yeah. and with they are where I try to get things right with JFF and I say JFF. Work we do no man. We see it, you know. Yeah. We no probably every, not see every, it. We see listen, it, you know. Listen, listen, the fans them believe it, bro. The fans them believe it. I do many, many videos and I said, yes, I respect 98. But new generation want something, you know, for my kids, them can see or listen. We we'll get the holiday. Them get, ah, mm. brother. You see me, you want something, you know, people, you want can 
when you go up on the corner and the youth, them say, yeah, I say, yo, you no, can't do this next in a seat there. Eh? A four year ago, we do it in a full the time. Mm. Brother, because I said this, and people think me a joke, me I say, and next year, I retire from international football. I say, yo. I hear you say that. You're you really serious about that? Yeah, man, I retire. I retire next year from international Whether we we'll go to the World Cup or not. we we'll go and go to the World Cup or not. Next year will be my last year in international football. Mm. You know, I feel like I'm going to give my time. I'm going to do, me do the best what I can do. You get me and say, while me at my youngest, I'm a fittest, I do it. You get what I'm saying? I'm feel like I really just want to devote um, the next couple years of my life just to club football, just to really play and win some championship for whichever team I'm there. And, you know? Yeah. Just I hope you guys have a good send-off. Gold Cup coming up three months from now. That's going to be a, a very imagine good... Who win, people... Imagine who win that, brother. And then win the Gold Cup and win, the and then, and... and then we'll make World Cup, brother. Oh, my God, brother. The, vibe, <laughs> the vibes and the nation, bro. Yeah. Listen, you can hear the, fa- the passion from the fans, them. They're just... Every single day, Ryan, we need JT to fix things. Every single body, bro. I'm not lie, bro. We're not make up nothing, bro. When you look down at the comment people, section. I'm going to keep on and tell people, say, people, we're not, we're not here, JFF. We, we understand. JFF, we understand. But what we are asking, uh, get them things uh, right. We're not asking enough for no bully for money or whatever the case may be. We're not that we are asking enough for. Yeah. We're asking enough for people from the medical staff, people from the coaching staff, the technical, coaching a technical man um, for helping more. Whatever the coach needs, get him where he need. You get home and say, get to flights them earlier. Get to, to the places them where we are going to see them time them where the team them the other team them are reach. Get with the earth. So we and them can have the same time for prepare. Them now have a day or two more than we. Yeah. You get home and say, give with the that get, makes get, sense. get 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 with get with the earth. You get me and say, get people to help with the recovery. You know, get recovery shakes and them things. They say after game we have recovery shakes. You know, send a chef. And we trip them with me. You get what me I say? So we have somebody where you can really look on the meal them and make sure say, everything we are going on with me them are the right thing. Because you go different places and they run your belly. True. Like the top number Spurs team a couple Brother, years ago, they we, wanted to qualify we, for the Champions League. Whole leap of play city happen. Where you can do, you, where you know what? You'll find them after. Yeah. Who, no makes sense. You'll find them after it done that done gone already. We don't make World Cup. So yeah. what, what? We are going to allow that for happen. No one say it's possible for happen. But Kemar, some of these things you guys talking about is common sense because you are the player seeing this. Why them can't see? Brother, but if a if common sense, then why you not just do it? Yeah, then you make it look like we are war with you, we are talking about money, and we are asking for this, and we are... Brother, we're not asking you for nothing. Yeah. Theodore Whitmore, I listen him interview her. Four months ago, when him come on TV, Jay was crying and said, listen, he need help. He need camera. We need camera to tape our training session. What can I tell Shaman Nichols what he do wrong today? And I'm not showing him video clip to say, Shamal, this is where you're running. This is where you're supposed to run. This is where you're supposed to arrive in the box and finish the chance. I don't have nothing. And he said he want a few more coach to help him. Some of these things, he has been saying it. So, why is when you guys coming out, they make it big problem? And Theodore Whitmore has been saying it. Guys, I will pin that interview down in the deep section and down in the comment section. So, make sure you go and check out that interview. I will man, find it. Theodore yeah, Whitmore, come on TVs. Yeah. And the man asks, there's nothing. Come on and all of these and, things. And more these, cone, more bars, these, these things. These little things that go put you over the edge. No in a session, brother. When you watch back a session, sometimes you are right. Sometimes you have it in your mind. Yeah, say, but the coach said that and this minute that do. So when you watch back a clip, yeah, say, ah, yeah. the coach is right, you know. The inside pocket free. But we need to drive a little bit more and knock it inside. Brother, I'm there, yes, sir, and the lake, brother. Every day we watch back some kind of video, or every other day we watch some kind of video. The man have a plane in the ear, a drone in the ear, a fly straight. Wow. And then we have one camera, this or one camera, this, I record from every angle. 
everything will happen up on the field this man see. So if you even joke drew one up and feel like him not see, this man see. You see when this man run up, run up play and I say, Cabby, the inside pocket open up, drive in there. I don't to talk to him with him. I know where he is and where he is talking about. So I drive in the pocket. When this man sit down and him, him video, him analyst video, him video analyst people, because we have video analysts here. Do you know the video analyst, brother? Who? He's a Jamaican. Born, brother, Jamaican named Kevin Reed. Wow. Brother, the man who help Jamaica so bad till it. It looked bad. The man said, reach out to Drape if they much watching time. And him analyze every single team under the like play against. Wow. And it's and the important. Man, it's important. Man say, no want the man said, I don't want the money. The man said, I don't want the money. I don't want the money. I don't want the money. But they would, they, they, and the next thing to where they, they, they trying to fool the people and try to put things in the people them head. They put out a, a 12 people traveling to um to the last practice game against the United States. They put on the paper say they have a fitness chain and Tapa, the day after Tapa were upset. And not until now the public know that they get a fitness chain from the same place they get down a local fitness chain down in Australia. So Austria. So then these are some little small things. And trust me. When this is the same thing, when Jurgen Club just take over at Liverpool, he said, We have to let go after, we have to let go after the past. Like 98 is very good for our history, but we have to let go after the past and move to the present. And the man, listen, the man make every single Liverpool player go meet the people, the grounds man. The people who daily they they, 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 they they look out for the chaining chaining stuff, the chef, the man make every single body come together. The unity. The man said, This is all you're going to win. These simple local things people think they take for granted, but it really matter. How many players over the years know that this is a woman who cook it, cook the preparing breakfast, prepare the lunch? How many right. players? No, who, who clean off in boots Fox. and eat all Fox. of these stuff. Fox. Brother, so you know what I say? And you know what I say? It's like, my, my, my rooted with that. You know, me and the closest people, I'm always in our team, brother. I'm the chef, my equipment, man, my grounds, man. The people from my medical staff, the man we're cleaning at the office. Brother, every time my team them, see me come in, the man say, why are you always dapping up this guy, bro? You know, I'm like, yo, because, you know, I have mad respect for him. First, yeah. after like the third day, I'm going in. I say, Papi, Papi, you know, I got, I, I got something for you. He's like, what you got for me? I'm bring him one on my shirt. He's like, the man want to cry. Yeah. You know, man, I say, yo, no player never give me them shirt yet. Yeah. I'm saying, look how much player play for the club before me. You get what I say, but it's, it's, it's just a little thing. But them people, they give me a different energy. When we see them people, they laugh and they're yeah. happy. And I say, yo, trust me. Let's see what I do. This, you see the same video thing we were talking about? Listen, I was listening to an interview with Steve Gerrard. And he said to the people who deal in the, the record the training. And when after training, Gerrard wanted to see what he has doing wrong on the pitch. And he don't want him, him say, listen, tell me right is. Tell me every single thing. Not because I'm Stevie Gerard, you're going to hold back. Tell me my weakness. Tell me what I'm not doing off the ball. And all of this stuff. I may say, if a player like Stevie Gerard can go to the, the grounds man and go to the, the man who record and daily the stats and all of them things, if he can go to them as a big player like Stevie Gerard, a lot of players that look down on them. A lot of players that look down on them, and how many people were working at Liverpool? They said no other manager in the history of Liverpool history make the grounds man to meet the player. I couldn't believe it, bro. Well, I know, man, could I tell you, every one of my grounds man them name a Red Bull? Every one of them. Could I tell you? I know everybody will cook. I know everybody will clean. I know them by name. 
Me and them would sit down sometimes and joke. They might drink them coffee and my daddy would like, drink a Red Bull or water and we sit down and we talk. Me, me know everybody in the, in, the, in the organization. Everybody, brother. From the littlest man to the biggest man. Brother, because to me it's just different, brother. So when you know the people them where you actually are work for, it make you work harder, brother. Because you know what? Disappointed, man. You get me, I say? You know what? Disappointed, man. You get me, I say? And, it make, and it, when you realize it actually make them happy when you win and the team successful, you realize, yo, yo, I got one big family in a some In a some way, we are one big family, brother. You see me, I say, your role is like as important as mine or even more. Because sometimes, brother, you look on it like the woman who cook the food, brother. Sometimes you're not even know. Miracle. She do, brother. Because she put the best out there for you. True, true. You see me, and you know, your dinner and your lunch, them things is a vital part of everything of you performing. Yeah, you get what me I say? And me I say, could not understand that Jamaica. Yeah. Isn't me I say JFF is I could not get that. This is a vital part of everything we do. Everything we want to achieve, this is it. This is what you need to get a chef. We can go we can go over go over Mexico, brother, and several man. Of food poisoning, what man? The match still have to go play, you know. And several years started them on food poisoning, but the match still have to go play. So most of the time, you guys travel when you don't when you travel without a chef. Yeah, I can't tell the last time we travel with a chef. Like, probably so, 2000, 2015 we used to have a chef. So you guys bring the food. Um, the chef bring the food. We bring the prepare. We just go there. No, normally the chef bring him ingredients, them and them things them we want for prepare. You get me I bring him one Jamaican spice and seasoning. Whatever him 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 yeah, don't yeah. make him less a thing where he might make. Yeah, but I always say. want to know you see how some of these stuff me always want to know, you know? And all of them stuff. Yeah. So I always bring him own spices and them something. So but no when he reach the country, you know, him go out and I guess him get the meat and stuff from the hotel and him season up him stuff and him do him thing himself. You get what I say? Yeah. And him 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 do the cooking. You get what I say? So him 24 7 him round the pot, him know what uh, going on. Like, even if him have uh, somebody from the hotel or assist him or whatever, him knowing everything what uh, go on. Yeah. You get me? So they say you can trust everything what uh, um, most team most of the team them have them chef. Most yeah. most teams. You get what I said? The other day, when man them go out, when the man them go in, um, go play a USA, in the Austria, me hear say the man them go out, go a restaurant, go eat for pre-game meal. Which part of history have I hear that? And my teammate from US at the this, you know, say, Say the player we know for my team, tell him say go out them go go eat. Pre-game meal, it's a before the game. Now. It's not after a game, now, brother. Pre-game meal, you're supposed to eat at your hotel with your team. Yeah, and certainly thing you can't put near body. <sighs> but what? but as I say, are we are we are we not know nothing? You get what I say? Mm -hmm. Are we not know nothing? And we then we then we then it every day. We know what professionalism is at the very top top level. We can wear a seat. You get me and say them money make mistake too. You see me? Them money over here so make mistake too. But they must try to be better every day. They must try if they make a mistake the one time, they now make it again, believe me. Yeah. Can they fix it up and I don't know. Everything requires a load of money. It's not everything requires it. And everything I have to do with this bunch of money want to make it look like. You see me? Look for no areas where you can cut back. Look for the delegations and where you need, where you can say, all right, I need you for travel. Oh no, I don't really need for travel. Oh no, I can't stay. And there you start to fix, thing, fix things already. So instead of 10 delegation or 8, you, you bring... You bring six or five, you add a equipment man, 
and you had a medical man on the staff. What's yeah. that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Turn, turn by terms. You go this time. And then yes, go. do it so. All right, since uh, we have a couple games come up, yeah, you come now. Next time a man knows say he can't come. But yeah, you have ways of doing things, brother. You have ways of doing it. But I don't know who they might, who they might try to sort it out. And certain things we tell them, we say, all we're looking for is, you know you don't have this. You won't get up tomorrow and know you don't have it. You know from last week, the week before, a month before. You know you don't have it. I would say, give you the information. The sooner you give you the information, the sooner we as a team can sit down with talk, say, yo guys, you what? J J F said them now have this, you know. Yeah, we'll I'll go. We we'll work with it. And this one. We don't want a man complain because we don't decide so we we'll work with it. You see me? We we'll work with it. Give you the information. The sooner you give you the information, the sooner we can process it and know and say, alright, Jano, you know what I say? I lie them I tell, but yeah, what? whatever. Them have the doctor them, them have the, the physio them. The chef will come. All right, we're good. We're going to play. We're going to play and we're going to win. we figure out the rest later. But but don't come act like we're a bunch of kids where you can just say, yo, or we are your son then where you can just say, yo, adapt me again. Take that. And give me no chance. We are not your son, brother. We don't know you from nowhere. I don't know you from the way. You see me, if you want to get vile and show you some vile, my vampire side, but you're not going to bring that out of me. You get what I say? But from places where you never been. You see me? But, I know that way, I know that, I know that who they are for do. You get me? You know the person that looked for me one day and tell me, say, after one time, uh, what amazed them one house, must have got a player's house. You get me with you know which have all the small beds and stuff like that. That man, um, we come out of the, come out of the media. Sorry, we come out, we come out of the media. You hear me? Yeah, man, me hear me. I come, we come out of the media and I say, yo, me and the, me and the players, and we're not going there. Me and I say, we're well, coming for a professional, you know, camp. You know, we have games coming up soon. We're not going to no playhouse. Man say, you ever, man say, go for the playhouse. Twelve man in a one room from bunk bed. Yeah. Them, them the upgrade from that because when I was well, going no, for the national no, team. No, that's the same place. No. Look a small bed them. We have upstairs and downstairs with the baby them. A baby yeah. thing. Same thing. <laughs> and them say, them want to go there, sir. I'm come out of me and say, no, we're not, we're not going there. Anyway, them know whenever I go there. Anyway, reach Jamaica and thing and we got the hotel. No, the president said to me, president said, to me, never do you there again. Never do you there. Can't believe what that you do, blah, blah. So I look for him and say, yo, what me do? Me, 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 me tell a lie for you? I say, I talk something on fear or something that wasn't true? You me not say nothing. I said, brother, all I do is I state it as it is. You get what I said? I said, we don't send on a flight itinerary. We don't know when we are moving. And that's all I said on social media. That you guys don't send on a flight itinerary. We don't know when we are moving. We don't know. We don't get no hotel information. So we don't know what hotel we're going to. And we don't suggest the, the players' house with the bunk bed. The man thing I always say, we're not staying there. I said, better I want to tell everybody, say, I want to go home and we meet for training. We go go to Jamaica, we go to yard and we meet for training. I said, I said, I prefer to do that. We go to yard and meet for training, we're not staying up there. You get home, I said. And all of a sudden, we go to the media, we don't find a hotel, we don't send them, we fly them. And everything went. Why? Because the Jamaican people them start getting involved. You know, the Jamaican people them start come out now and say, yo, we care, you know, no matter tune the year we are sending up, we care. Yeah. We're gonna start tremble. But that's the thing, if the people them not get involved, if the people are not concerned by what you know, what really are take place, them can sit down and do what they want to do for the next 
50 years. You get me, I say? But when the people them show say they involved and oh, our country, you see me? We don't lead because we want to lead. And if we don't fix things, we don't go, then them start to do the things them way they're supposed to do. All this professional level, they, I was listening to the president and I said this, you know, and I'm not going to put up my source out there. When the president come and um, sports max and say they link with um, Nathan Redman and all of these players, this is where, why at this point when you guys were starting out the contract, the other day Nathan Redman said nothing. And I was, I interviewed someone from England and the person said, we're close to Nathan Redman. Nothing, them thing there is not true. This is just false thing the JFF put in now for try. And, and I'm going to say, from the first time me and Michael Rich, um, the president said, they are linked with this player and this player. And I know that wasn't true because someone close to Nathan Redman tell me, so that's not true. And all of these players they're trying to get. It's just be a lie. Years upon top of years, these men are lying to the nation. Years upon top of years. You guys need to change for the better, for the sports. We need changes and funds. We have to make our voice here. They're trying to use the media and trying to use the people against the player. Like the player, they want $2,000 or $3,000. Come on. Most of these players have their money. They don't want the money. It's just for the local player them and all of these things they're trying to sort out things. And there's no way you guys can fly six, seven Englishmen first class and then what about the player them has been playing for the national team for years? You guys need to fix and you guys need to change and stop the hypocrisy thing. I'm not going to blame the English player them because it's not them fault. They don't know what's going on. It's the JFF. Is the JFF fault? They need to stop these things. Every player should equal. If if the whole team not flying well, um, um, first class, no. And Mr. Speed, you need to stop this foolish board dumb play. You guys need to stop the local foolish and just do the right thing for the player. Them. I'm not care, brother. I'm not care. They get me. And as I said the other day, I said. We well, say sometimes one day we we'll try to fight with them. Like them, if them actually think we we'll try to fight with them, oh, we not try to fight with them. There's nothing. There's nothing to fight about. All we are one Jamaican. We just want to know to see what we are say, understand it, and make a move in the right direction. We not fight with them. And we not try to fight against them. We understand you and your family. You have, you have to do things. Things have to get done. You know your job. But we are trying to help you to do your job to the best of your ability. Because if we successful, you are more successful. Why not that? You don't understand. If we, the players, if we, the Jamaica team, are successful, ultimately, the JFF is more successful. Bigger games. You get me? We don't have to go play US no more. We don't have to play... Um, Panama, Costa Rica. We can't start playing Brazil, Argentina, you know, Chile them more often, you know, Germany. You know, we can't we can't fix you know, fix up, we can't build a different stadium, um, you know, get a real solid football feel. You know, when team come to them, they must say, ah, oh, geez, I would never know so Jamaica feel nice to play upon. You get what I say, these are the things. If we, Jamaica football team is, you know, are successful, then it changes a lot. But more opportunity for more local players to every, overseas. Every player, brother, the league will be better as well. You get what I say? The league will be better. Then people can make the decision of, you know, I'm not really have to go overseas. I'm there, I'm, 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 you know, I'm happy, you know. May I get quality pay? My league big, my league are sure worldwide. But I really need for going away. Different team, different people from different country can start come to the league now. Say so, yo, Jamaica, you know, Jamaica are the top ten, top fifteen. Them league are pay good money. 
you know, high quality football, we're, we're good. We're not for good on El Salvador, we're going to play hard. You know, we're not for good for Panama, we're going to play, we're going we're go to Jamaica. Yeah. Brother, it leads to a lot. It leads to a lot. And I don't know why them can't understand what we are saying. You, oh, what do you think the JFF need to do to, you know, for you guys to trust them? What some of the things they can do to, trust you know, brother, to go in forward? Nobody not ever trust them, man. I'm not different. I don't see myself I ever trust them. Them just need to do what they're supposed to do. Them, we're not really worried about trusting them. Them just need to show us that they care. Show us that they care. We don't get the coach way more. That, that's all we want. Get the coach way more. You know, add P help chuck us to one which are the equipment man. Get people upon the medical staff. The rest of things them we will figure out. You get me? I said the rest of things them we'll figure out on later day. The rest of things them alright. The money part, no big deal. Where I say, alright, the local player them today, you know, where I say, yo, give them three grand or whatever for the game them. If if that means eh, we I forget less money and them get more. We're not an issue with that. You get what me I say? So yeah. but get the things right. The coach want you know, the coach wants a drone or the coach wants some kind of camera for video game session. The coach wants somebody for help with video sessions, you know, for for pick apart teams and show we where we can attack these teams. You know, where is these teams weak point? You know, where we can can't say Liam Bill, you know, you have to play up on the right today, you know, because we need to run at this boy. Come on, kick your dung and we'll get a penalty. We don't have that. We can't do certain video sessions because the coach and the equipment them and them shit there. You get what I say? So it's like it makes everything uh, you know what time you know what video you watch watch for we you have to remember you know, brother we have we play with different players from different teams, you know. We play with a man from US, we play with a man from Mexico, we play with a man from Panama. You get what me I say? I played a man from um, Ireland. I used to play with a man who used to play for England. I saw it go, you play with different people, you know, them end up go start playing for your national team. You and them might still talk, you and them might cool. You get me? So you and them have conversations, you know, and yeah. them tell you what them, them tell you the things and what them do. Isn't it? Them say, yeah, man, you and them are talking now, nah, give you certain information what you might tell you. Say, yeah, man, watch video. Watch video for you. Mm. And just know, say, I hear your side, me attack her, no, me attack all of her side. Yeah, brother, you're here for you. Your teammate, them and your friend, them will always be that. So, you and them can have certain conversations. Sometimes you have the conversation with them, a man tell you, I'm starting side before you didn't know I'm starting side. Yeah. A football world, certain things will never stop. You get me, I say, certain things will never stop that football world. Amongst players and them friends, them or them people who used to be them teammates. Certain things will never stop. You get me, I say? So, before me, before whatever me know, Shit, shit, shit. You hear me? Yeah, man, I hear you, man. Yeah, I said before. Still there, eh? No, nah, you're a camera. Last taxi again. Last taxi again. Hopefully, you will jump in back, guys. Conversation is very heated, guys. Stick around. Don't move. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you share the video to one of your friend. Get the message. Road to six. 100 subscribers, 6,000 subscribers. Let's so hopefully we can get back taxi. So let's see him back. I don't know why, yeah, I'm, never, I don't know why I'm never use my iPad and do the interview. Yeah, do, some, yeah. 
do sometimes I put it down so far as I when I forget some of it. Yeah. Real man. But as I tell you, bro, no pressure, this is not TBJ. We there are reasons, we are reasons, bitch. But as me I said though, bro, remember we have different teammates from different team, man. You know, you know where one of the players them will go play for the other day, say to my teammate who me play with. Man man say yo him, him love it is good for representing my country but man said no organization not one. Wow. Man said no no organization not not one. Man I said disorganized but everything. Mm-mm. So it now come from we alone that from the man and we just go. Yeah, preparation, preparation, and some of these things, you know, yeah, Jeff is talking about Mikel and Tony. Yeah. But I don't want to give too much information. I will tell you after camera, camera. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you after camera. But the Jeff but, need to fix up, man. But they, you have to understand, say, the man them where them call what they, even if Mikel and Tony want to go. Remember them man they know him. So when them man they go back and have a talk with him if he man them talk and man them say, yo, how was it, G? The man I say, yo, this organized enough, you know, bad. Yeah. You, you know? What what kind yeah, of the impression? Man, the man them the man them say, listen, they must stick with the senior player them. This is information I get. The man them say they must stick with the captain and the senior player them. Anything that the senior player them said, that's what he might work it. That's Mikel Antone. So if you guys think we're going to get Mikel Antone, it's not going to work, Jeff. Okay. It's not going to work. Simple as you probably see me. I get a lot of information too. You know, I always ask when I was on the outside taxi, where these blacks get this information? And they say, oh, listen, I'm not going to tell you who said it. Who tell it and bring the story come. And me in the shoes now and so much people, people from London bring information to me. So, you know, everybody have them source, you know. So, yeah. listen, guys, we just want the JFF to do the right thing. And come on, seriously, I want to ask you this question. Do you think they will call what you guys? Yeah. I course. just feel me feel like me feel like these guys, they don't want to help. A lot of people would love to help, but they just want to do it by themselves and they're stubborn and they just want to stick in their feel them way. And they just want to know they go to World Cup and them they're getting help. Them you think, think they're really going to call in the back? I have a feeling. Yeah. They, they. It can't happen without the, the, the group. It can't happen without the core group. Yeah. It, af- no, it, it, it can't happen it, without Andre, Bailey, um, Nana, um, Bobby Reed, um, Ravel, 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 McGee, Bowser, me, um, Flemings, uh, Amal Flemings, Knight, um, um, Romar, Romar, um, more I call every man name Fisher. Um, who is my miss? Um, my boy, the Philly, the forward. Um, Burke, Burke, Corey Burke. Yeah, it, it, it now got me. Yeah, O'Neill Fisher to all of these players. Yeah, yeah. because McCall Fisher name Brian Brown, um, Denver Argyll. It need the group, no matter how tapa. Fix that group there and put it together yeah. with. But the we need core and the dead it. The, the core brother. and the dead it. The core, brother. The and all the way, not, all the way not after the dead end, brother. But so when all the way together, yeah. it's a different thing. It's a different the thing. Vibes when, and everything, you know, the camp. Understand. It's more understand. It's a different thing when all the way up on the same level and a man not get called for that trip yeah, and the next man get called. You get me? Then. Yeah. All the way, say, oh, we're not going. You, you, you notice the man, them, every man said they're not going, and you notice that? 
you notice that every man to them now. find it difficult, especially it, for the bench, very weak. It it different from it different from you get you get call up or you don't get call up. All of the players them say they're not going because things isn't right. It's a togetherness that you have. And some of when I when I was some of the player them some of the player them will play don't get them passport yet. Them Jamaican passport. You, know, you, have a, you, have a, you have a lot. You have a lot to it. So as I say, my belief no, my belief, of course, my belief say um the JFF they might try to do something. The nation are gonna come down. Listen, it might probably you not know, hear the ruin now, but may I tell you, you yes, see when the attack class start and we start to put on the pressure. Trust me, because they feel like this is just for them. The people of Jamaica care about this national team, especially the youth them from Garrison. You know much the youth from Garrison look up to a player like Taxi, a player like Andre Blake. Many people, they youth can save them life. Okay. You understand? Brother, hope, brother, we give people hope, and that that is what they don't understand. You know, we we give a lot of youth hope. You know, I give a lot of youth, you know, things to look forward to. You get me, I say? And I said this the other day, and I mean it by no joke. Nobody from JFF can go on a corner and go talk to certain youth or do certain things. Me can get up and go do that any day of the week. And they're willing to listen. You get what I say? Nice. Even though it might not change them same time or whatever, they must always hear a little thing in the back of them ears and toxic and give them advice or whatever. Body from JF if not going to do it. Not even say them can't do it, they're not going to do it. They're not care as much. Yeah. Ask them about how much of the youth them way play for Jamaica one or two match and them see the youth them like a fall out of place or the youth them might have a bad pat patch where them go through and them 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 game drop. Ask them how much of them take them time out for go find out which community you live in and one or two you live in. And go and find out why they might drop off, what's happening in them life. Yeah. Not okay. here. It's a big issue. Can remember, I'm telling you, say, seriously, most of these things like, happen. When I was playing for Excelsior, I was the, the captain and I was the leader, and things wasn't right. You know, when I go to school, my fair focus, yo, oh, my light bill, I go play, oh, this I go pay. And because uh, you, my father never did and all of these stuff. And the manager, I said, what, 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 what happened to you, Rima? I said, no, I worry about me I go home in the dark this weekend. I'm on campus and I'm going in the dark. Everybody gone. I'm going on the camp. I'm going on the school. And I said, Rima, you know, I go home. And I said, yo, no, no food and everything there. And I said, yo, no worry yourself. Stay up here. And tomorrow morning they leave. I go sort you and thing. Not for your life. These are the things where can really, really distract player from getting the result with it. Yeah, it's fuck. them look a simple thing. Fuck. You see me? Sometimes a man wanna know and say somebody that they care for me. You get me, brother? Sometimes brother a man get a call up, brother, and then he might not get a call up the next time. You see me, and sometimes not because him put a wrong foot him, because the coach decide to go a different direction with a part of the game. But how much time a man from JFF call a youth and say, Oh, you do? You see me? Oh, oh you perform? Oh, you game ago? Yeah. You game? You do what you're supposed to do? Just just you calling a youth then just check in for him. Do, do something big, you know? Give him a different level of confidence. You know? Oh, go yo, but the management them care, man. The man they not pick up them phone and call nobody, brother. Yeah. You see me? And sometimes when them here say, oh, you know, a former Jamaican player, you know, get shot last week and died or whatever. And I say, ah, oh, team never know that man that on bad man or no man that do this. They never interested for now. Yeah. You get me, I say? You, you see the youth that game a deteriorate too much time you pick up your phone and call and try to find out why. Yeah, do that. Yeah. One more thing, one more thing before we leave. One more thing before we leave, because we have a too long camera and I know you have training this evening and stuff. Yeah, I'm on in, I'm training, man. 12 o'clock. Yeah. 12 o'clock now. 
Yeah, it's six o'clock now. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it's six hours oh, ahead of Canada. Oh, so, of Canada. So, but you know, more acts are still. You think like some of the players, them like you know, like when they play international football and they get injured, and sometimes them club not renew really back them contract because of you know them get injured yeah. international <laughs> break and stuff. You think the JFF can do much better, like insurance and all of these stuff where it can you know the player can yeah. bounce back from. It is. But I don't know how them can figure it out, but there are ways they can figure it out. And especially like for the local player. I mean, I have a player that must get injured before. And them have to sit down. And I was reading, before I cut, I was reading and I do some research on the Caribbean team. Them. A team named El Salvador do that for them player. Brother, you have a player who get injured, player Jamaica, and them have to sit down and wait and wait and wait. Months before them can do a surgery, you get me? Yeah, yeah, pick players who play overseas and them injure and team to renew them contract. But I'm used to play for Red Bull sometimes. Them is like, them give me a bad vibe before me go international break because them really and truly now I'm for go. Yeah. I'm a come back with a little knock. Them I look for me like, yo, you international team good and then you come back and you're injured. They said so, them thing that them not say it, but the way but the gear they look up, them look yeah. up vibes and yeah, you get what me I say. Remember, you know, brother, we have, we have understanding, you know, yeah. and we know what's really happening, you know. You get what me I say, yeah. You know, my time them try to talk me out and not going to national team, wow. like stay, but when for them country I go play, them send everybody gladly. Brother, this is what I deal with, brother. Brother, you're not in this world, you know, brother. You have to understand me. understand one thing. I'm going to always understand I'm a black. Like tar, and it not change. Mm-hmm. You get what I say? So I have that in my mentality. So things won't be the same. What stand for Patrick? Ain't, ain't the same for Kemar. <laughs> you get what I say? Different things. So I have to understand it. And I have to know Oh, for deal with it, you get what me I say. I stand for Blakey, I stand for the next goal, probably not stand for the next white goalkeeper. So, if I understand them thing, yeah, brother, free, free, it's hard, brother. It's hard, brother. It hard, it hard, brother. Especially when you're in a club, brother, and, and you yeah, do good. You see, you come a national team, you injure, you go back, you don't have a game because the next man step in and. You see me the next man step in and he him probably not play as good as you, but he might play all right. Yeah, coach, I say, him committed, you know, he never leave the national team or whatever. And I keep him in. It happens, brother. It happens. Bro, you open up my eye and I learn a lot more, Bridget. Not just you sharing a story with me. I learn a lot, Mr. Dung here. I learn a lot about the sports and especially to talk to someone like, professionally we in, inside a club. I learned a lot from Nicholas yesterday and then today come give me more lesson and I really, really appreciate the lesson you given to me. You know, I can share it back with the people in my community and all of these things because it really helped, you know. No, no problem, brother. I'm, uh, as I say, brother, the people I'm grow with, brother, my uncle, grandma, mother, brother. You know. It's like it's like your grandma is big because I hear mention her more than toes the time. Like every movie I make, yeah, yeah. Louis. I'm a queen, that man. I'm a queen, 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 that man. My grandma died a couple years ago, and is he so kind of got you a little rough patch during then to come. They don't want to stop playing. You know what I say? Yeah. Stop play. My mama stopped playing last year too because my brother crashed off my bike and lose him leg and. Yeah. Okay, last last year last year when I just signed, I just signed for the um for the team in Belgium, mm-hmm. and in the first part, he, 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 a lot of people were asking where is taxi and all of these. Yeah, stuff. I'm never there. I'm never there. Here, my brother they crash somebody there Jamaica take care. Cause my mom, my mom actually in the US and she can't really move right now, so me yeah. have to be able to fly in and make certain decisions and. You know, I man, I have to tell the team, say, yo, do what I want, do what I need to come, never did I get paid. 
such and such, I'm just uh, for those who know me, I do my thing, and yeah, at the end of the day, I'm tell you, say, God first, family after, you know, I say, football come and go and whatever. We need for to take care of the family, I'm going to do that. You get what I say, so I know some of my brother's life is more important to me than football. You get me? So, what are you doing now? Him, everything all right? I'm getting him. Prayer cover, yeah, I'm in the process. No, I'm getting him a prosthetic leg. Like, um, sometime, sometime, um, you know, when you drop and you really, you know, you hit your head, you know, and that brain swelling and some different things. So, constantly, if you're watching, constantly, if you you know, make sure I'm getting treatments, them, and the medication, them. So, you know, that, you know, crazy. Because, you know, brain injury can, you know, affect you. The doctor tells me, say, sometimes it might. You know, behave a certain way or say things, you know, different. So, yeah, we're yeah, not for too pressure him. You know, because I'm some time when him, like, you know, understand what I'm talking about. You get what I'm saying? And then, then for the rest of the week, him clear. Everything I'm talking about, you know, you get what I'm saying? It's like normal, and then you just have a day, and him just like, you know, really, you know what I'm saying? We are around, boo You get what I'm saying? But, I have to deal with it some days it's more emotional than some because I'm a little brother and me and him grow. You get me? But once there's life, there's hope, brother. And you know, once you have a will, then we can fight. So. Yeah, for true, for true, for true. Yeah. So I'm just my brother. As we say, I really appreciate it, bro. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it. Ball right. boy at Boy Stone. You know, see it. Come and play play against Boyston and have a view. Seeing him playing for the national team. Score a beautiful goal against Mexico. I post it, I think I posted it yesterday on Instagram. And what went to your mind that time when like Grandma, you, I hear what, them grandmother. See me and my grandmother died. Grandmother, brother. Like grandmother and just because my brother I know me that was score before the game. If you, if you watch the game, then I'm scoring always. I'm scoring the biggest game. Always like the biggest game for the club that I'm scoring. I'm going to score a lot, but when I score, always some big game or something. Would you say but, that your biggest goal? Is... Yeah, probably. Probably that goal, the biggest goal in my career. Oh. So. I tell you, man, I lick the pot cover, man. When I'm done, man, my hand them swell. <laughs> that, that free kick the bridge in me, I tell you. And like, I just you see you man score a big goal like that and then the man I say like and then coach with more like this on the bench. Emotional man, they really emotional. So I just really gratitude did I, yeah. you know, God, you know, cause I mean, they really are pretty hard, you know, for them for see, them last, see. For, them yeah. last week, for them last weeks there and you know, but I mean, it really overwhelm with emotion and I just cry when they don't want to cry. And you know, we just we just did the able to keep it together. You get what I mean, say? So I'm just glad I never ball so my friend could have laughed off of me. It was an emotional time for me, brother. God just show you say brother in your weakness, you know, him 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 strong as it and you know, you know for worry yourself too much because sometimes life gets overwhelming for all away, but if we believe, you know, I'm going to make it, I'm going to pull through somewhere or the other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely, bro. Proud, bitching. Yo, I don't know. I do most of Liverpool stuff in a taxi, but yeah. for some reason, for the last, like, I said, for the last, I cover the last Gold Cup, but for some reason, like, my last, most of my video, them international break, I do, like, nearly 35 video. Yeah. About the Jamaican national team, how they're going to line up for the um the 2022 the first game against Mexico, or the the team going to line up against in the Gold Cup, all of these things. Yeah, the first game, same way, right? Eh? The first World Cup qualifiers game we have against Mexico, right? Mexico, we have Mexico, then you have USA, and then Costa Rica. We have three game. It's, it's set up so sweet for us to qualify for it. You so gotta work, Regin. But that, not them one one, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> you so gotta work. 
These guys don't realize, bro, we're playing three of our difficult game away from home. And we can guarantee you, we only see the confidence and the team bridging and the, the mature you guys have been to final last, been to Copa America, the experience coming to the tournament. When I look at the Panama team, they're rebuilding. When I look at the Honduras team, they're rebuilding. Costa Rica, they look at under 23, under 20 players. You know them team they always bring up them players through the senior team. But they're still not getting the, the, the right result they're supposed to get. And when you look at Jamaica, we just we look about Otala and we just a blossom, a blossom area, close the gap. Look at United States. Only one player missing from that team. And We'll go with that. It will go with that local team where we'll play once a, once a three day preparation. And remember, in the last 10 minutes of the game, they scored two. We're all in the game. Imagine if Blakey, all of these players, Leon Bailey, you know, Bobby Reed, Ravel Morrison. And one thing for sure, we will lock over the years still, Taxi. We lack someone who going to, you know, going to have that ball and that drive and passion in the midfield to create. For other player like the, the 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 wingers and all of them thing now and to see Rob Morrison, Maggie and Ravel that man, Ravel. Yes, yeah, so and that me tell say yo, uh, yo everything come at the right time now. They catch a man in a training, no, brother. Man smooth like cucumber, no, brother. Man smooth, smooth, brother. Man play like man play like him never care in the world. Like father got give a ball and say you just play ball and worry about yeah, no man wicked, bro. Me I watch him find him a play for West Ham. Never brother, really. brother, man, tell you, man, the man, I play, he's like, man, does like the man zone out and like him got in a ball, the man, and say, if lose it, that's so. But when him have it, yeah, him, really. not, him just love it, yeah. like, my like, man, I say, yeah, you have a baby, you know, man, man, I love it. <laughs> yeah, man, man, love it, man, man, love it, man, don't use it, brother. Yeah. Say, but Free. And, and Maggie, Maggie are kind of the same way. You get me? I say, Maggie, Maggie just love it, brother. No for move it, no for do with it. Can't kick it, can't chip it's, it. It's special, yeah. man. Yeah, man. So, yeah. Maggie is like, it reminds me of German, you, brother. Man, just yeah. nice on the ball, budget, and just do the right thing, you know? And yeah, stuff. It's all a come, it's all a come, it's all. Like, it all like, it it basically they are the final part, you know, you know. It where, did it, bro. Where where you know after we win the first game there, it just I got kick off something for those nah stop win. You remember you remember when you guys get the job in Mexico where that just make me just feel big and mighty. You remember the time they I win? I think a twenty fourteen World Cup qualify on a jar nil nil if we kill the man them a stick a bridging. Mm. If we kill Mexico a stick, you know. Them time in Mexico has struggled. And we got the Azteca for the first time and get a point. And then we play the Panama, we play Panama our second game. We take the lead in the first. Yo, the stadium jam pack. When we say the stadium jam pack. And then the goal cup we got on the other day where a few match playing at Jamaica. And you see all the people them come out. People them come out, man. People them come out. Listen, bro. You want a woman? Them, man. And them there. Eh? What a home semi final of them there for World Cup on the know what's going on. Yeah, my Bridgie, we just a dream Bridgie, me I tell you. When we listen to everyone on the interview for the last couple of days, man, I'm so confident we are making it to the World Cup. Bro, now I'm going to post a question here. Bridging is just a waste of time to post it. It's bro, just big, it's big waste of time. Believe we post it, bro. Yeah, now I'm going to ask a question. Brother, every man right now, if you ask any man, brother, we cannot, we cannot not make it to the work of life. There's no, we know, we not see ourselves as doing nothing else. Yeah. When next year World Cup come more, all we supposed to us dead. I'll be ready for talk about who we are going to beat. All right, because see we group, or we are going to qualify. All right, Germany in our group, we know we said that match is a tough lane. We don't have to be ready for run them boys, you know, because we don't have to go do some defending. But you know, we don't have time for break out, we don't have to go run them. All right, you know, Japan in our group, you know, we are going to beat up a Japan. You know, we are going to beat up a South Korea, or whoever we get. You get what I yeah. mean? But, at, at, brother, all we are looking to it, we don't want. 
we don't want to try it there before it happen. You know, like mm. what I say, you're overconfident, but it's not overconfident either because all the way, like, we know say it's not go easy, but we're willing for work. It no matter yeah. what we need to do, we're willing for do what it mm. is. We're willing for sacrifice, we're willing for sacrifice. Yeah. For God, every man willing for put on them ego aside and get the goal done. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And I just that we need Joey Pepper to do. Just put the ego aside and make it work as a team. Yeah, work, man. Work. Important, bro. Work. Once you work as a team and a pool together, have one the rest, mission and the thing. The rest is just history. The rest yeah. are easy, brother. The rest are easy, I believe, man. Yeah. But, Kemar, I really appreciate you take the time out, but you know, over two minutes, brother. The last interview me have over two minutes was Miguel Coley. That one was cracking, bro. And a lot of things I still don't cover with you guys. We can't cover everything. So yeah. hopefully in the future. The next time, man, brother. Um, yeah. Available, man. And everybody will do interview for you. Available for you and everyone. Yeah, my brother. I appreciate that, bitch. And I appreciate it, man, buddy. I really appreciate it. I'm telling you, bro. I can't stop till I really appreciate it. <laughs> brother, I know, man. I know, man, brother. And, you know, I appreciate it. In here to money, you know, kind of good for people understand you and just sometimes just listening to the reasoning, you know, it kind of show them, say, oh, you know, the mute are really, you know, I come from a different place, you know, so it just yeah. like when people sometimes people hear one thing and them not fully get it, I'm like when they understand exactly what yeah. takes place, all right, why, all right, taxi said that, but why I'm saying it, you yeah. get what I mean? Yeah, all right. JFF said that, but why them say it? Because them are human too, you see me? And as much as all them, them, them make a lot of mistakes, you know, and, you know, them not do, them not do justice by way a lot of time. Them are human. And deep in my heart, I feel like them, I don't know if it's hard for them to change, but I feel like some people around them must want to change. You get what I say? I feel like somewhere, somehow, them are going to work with me. I feel that. I'm deep down in my heart, I feel that way. Even if them are, even if it means them have them are go put in get Jamaica people and put them in a position where they have to start work with it. Yeah. I feel like it's gonna happen. You have to too to much see. pride to man, you have too much pride as Jamaican to man. Yeah, and that, pride brother. and ego. Yeah, the, yeah, the ego, ego part to me, brother, the ego part. The ego but, bridging. The ego bridging. But we're not, we're not perfect, brother, a human being. We ego sometimes as Jamaican, especially when you have power. Power but, is a hell of a thing, you know, when you have the power, you can't yeah, handle yeah, it the right way. Yeah, it will backfire upon you. And you don't know if I ask you help on them things. It's a hell of a thing, man. But you know, make, them, make them live, brother. More want to see them live, more want to see them happy, just like for me, you want to Just ask them to do the right thing. If yeah. we need help, if you need help, ask for the help. You get what I say? No matter what kind of help you need, ask for the help. Tell Jamaica what they need. You get me I say? Tell Jamaica what they need. Tell the players what they need. Be honest to me. Yeah. We not we not try to kill our brother. We not our brother. We might be our older brother them, but we not try to kill. Them. You get me? Cause sometimes it take a younger man to show the older one which path for going. On. Bro, you get me. me. Me are the smallest out from my father's side, bitch, you know, and all of my big brother, them bitch, you know, they always look up to me. And Kyo, my t- every time they listen to my brother, they go, every time they say, Yo, come like you're a prophet, bro. And I said, No, because when I do the right thing, when I follow my footsteps, brother. You see me, I say, Oh, what? To me, are the smaller one. Yeah, I smaller one. When I have look, have look up to my bitch, you know, and just see. Mm-hmm. Me I do brother. For them mistake, me now I make for them mistake. And Kyo, you talk to a man. A man never hear and tell him then as some look shit stuff and, and then him a call for help. It a got too late, budget. Me know you are watching my brother. You did a you did a difficult place I watch, brother. More you learn, budget. You are next one, brother. You know learn if you learn and listen to your brother. You see me I say, big up yourself, my love you said this still. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, God, yeah, up, you know, yeah, yeah my brother, appreciate you know, it, man. Anytime, right. anytime again, you ready? Talk yeah. about different things, you know, matter, brother. You know, you know, matter. I'm not, 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 I'm not,
Bro, when they come, stay put. I'm going to say something to you for the camera. All right, bro. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you share the message. Make sure you share. Hit that share button. I want 200 share on this one. Shaman Nichols, you want to get 4,000. I want 5,000 share on this one. Share the message. Them here. They're seeing it, you know. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Stay put. Don't move, Lawrence.